Building information modeling and sustainability are really pushing the profession into a new direction than what it has been in the last decade, the last century. And so I think that the kinds of buildings and the kind of spaces architects start working for, with and for are going to change. We're not going to just be doing buildings, but the buildings we will be doing are smarter and more efficient, and it'll be changing the way in which we interact with the built environment in our buildings. But I also think that with these kinds of technologies and the changes in the way we started conceiving of them will push us into starting to interact with new spaces and moving into working with public space and urban space and really changing the role of the architect. My first experience with Revit was um, this past semester in a comprehensive studio. Revit was our main tool to really communicate in terms of drawings, really detailed plans and sections um, with our studio and with our professor. I guess the basics of Revit is that Everything is there, all the information is there. Every time you build a wall, there's, it's not just a wall, there's information embedded in that wall. So every time you put a window in, you move it, it, it keeps all this information and it stores it. So all of your drawings are collected inside this program. You don't have your plans in this folder and your sections in that folder. In Revit, it coordinates all of those things for you and you can control the coordination. All these things are updated simultaneously. When you move the window in the plan, it shows up in section and elevation. The Revit platform um, really enables the people that know it to experience projects that a lot of others can't. My knowledge, I've been working on projects that other interns and other professionals at the same firm don't have the opportunity to work on, and they're often the latest projects, the most cutting, ed cutting edge technologies that people are trying to implement. The firm I work for is really pushing building information modeling, especially Revit. They're trying to move all their projects into Revit, and I think it's um, really useful. I can really tell the difference between a CAD project and a Revit project. That's kind of how we separate projects at, at work, and you can really tell the difference in coordination and collaboration when, it's the, when you can have a web project. I think it's really going to be a big part of the future, so it's good for students to really be aware of it and have experience with it.